hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer in photoshop so before any further ado let's get started so we are going to use a5 in this tutorial then change it to inches then click on great now the next thing is to pick your gradient color then i have my color code here then copy the color code then paste ctrl b then the location here is 33 then copy the color code again ctrl c to copy then ctrl v to paste okay then enter the last color code then and paste then now i'm going to increase the opacity to 100 percent then you see something like this then okay then my angle is 90 percent and scale is 100 percent okay now i'm going to bring the image inside the photoshop then expand the image now apply layer mask then i blend it to fade the edges then go to blood blend mode then i use luminosity over there then copy my test ctrl c and ctrl v to paste then before then changing my font to railway ctrl j then i drag it down then copy the present ctrl v to paste okay then ctrl a to select all then i click on that point over there then to centralize it i center alignment then ctrl j again to duplicate then i light ctrl a then i'm going to type women fellowship here then i'm using the font called diavolo then increase it a bit and position it well Then make sure they are properly aligned together then i'm going to copy the test then selecting my test to ctrl v to paste the font I use here is the same railway then 
and copy the theme ctrl v to paste Now that I have aligned them, then I'm arranging them in order. Ctrl J to duplicate. Then I hold my Shift key, then drag it down so that it will come out direct. When you hold the shift and you drag it, it will be aligned just as it is from where you copy it or you duplicate it. Then I'm reducing it a little bit and to align it with the second one so that it will be equal now the next thing is to bring my light flare then change it to screen then apply a layer mask Then I'm going to blend the edges there so that it will fade in. Okay. So now this is what I have. Then I'm going to copy the test over there then change the color to uh, the font i mean to railway now ctrl v to paste i'm changing the color to red Light, then change the color to red. Then I will also change the font over there to Montserrat bold. I light again, do the same thing, change to Montserrat bold. Then also apply to the last one, the same thing. Okay. Then I'm going to bring a rectangle then draw a rectangle line over there to put a separation then white color I'm going to use over there. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. I'm using the arrow key to move it. Then change the color to red. Ctrl J and then I'll drag it to the front. I light copy my test then I paste over there
hey guys don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you know you have not yet subscribed to this channel please kindly subscribe the font here is the same as Montserrat so that is the font I used over there then group them then now I'm going to drag it out then use my arrow key to move it up ok So I'm going to copy speaker, then pick my rental go, draw a line there, rental go, then using a red background, then I'm going to control V to paste, then move the test inside the rental go over there. Then uh, what I do there is to click on the right angle and the test, then and apply alignment. Now I group it. Then reduce the right angle. All right. Then control A to apply center alignment. My next test control V to paste that is the speaker. Okay. Copy live on, then select my test tool, then control B to paste. Now I'm going to bring this image over, then I'm place it at the front of life on then my youtube image then also reduce the size then place it at the front okay so the last thing Ctrl V to paste. Then now I reduce the both the boldness of the font. Then align them properly. So draw another rectangle and apply a yellow color. So now I have something like this. Okay. So I'm going to reduce the size of the test over there. Then okay. So all right. So that is it, thank you for watching, kindly subscribe.